to the Deep Creek Fire now between Townsend and Helena. The fire has continued to grow to the north and east, and the latest mapping puts it at around 4,600 acres. But crews were able to reopen Highway 12. Evacuations of the Grassy Mountain subdivision do remain in effect. Around 50 people have been displaced, and at least one home has been destroyed. Improved conditions on Wednesday allowed crews to make good progress on the southwest corner of the fire. A type 1 incident management team took over the fire today, and fire crews also today focused on building and strengthening the line around the fire, working from the southwest corner north. Fire suppression efforts have already cost around a million dollars. And as firefighters battle wildfires all across Montana, the Forest Service Air Tanker Base at the Helena Regional Airport has played a central role. The Helena base is one of only a few in the region that can handle all sizes of air tankers. This week, they've already loaded nearly a dozen planes with fire retardant. And on Thursday morning, it took just six minutes to put 3,000 gallons of retardant onto an Avro RJ-85 which was sent to assist on the Robertson Draw Fire near Red Lodge. The tanker base typically doesn't open until July 7th, but they ramped up to full operations Monday in light of the serious fire situation. This base is specifically important because it's, you know, helping save lives and property by being able to quickly get retardant onto the fire. So this service center here allows us to serve all of Montana. The Forest Service is reminding the public that it's important not to operate any drones around a fire. All aircraft will have to be pulled out of the air if a drone gets too close.